So thank you everybody for being here. Welcome to Romance in Grenada, Caracom, Pity Martinique. Our superstar today is Mr. Trevor Modest. Mr. Modest is a SAS fellow. Mr. Modest is a Grenada fellow, an OECS fellow, a Carifta fellow, I think world championship fellow, um, former police, all the way up to assistant commissioner. Mr. Modest has climbed many ladders all the way up. And we are going to be romancing Grenada Caracom Pitimatic with him today. On the panel, I'd like to welcome Mr. Adrian Morrison, uh, Mr. Milton Coy, Mr. Livingston Kumar Nelson, who is, let's say, a godson, a godchild. And um, I have a surprise guest um, who is, you'd probably see on the screen, but wouldn't come on yet until I said, reveal yourself. So welcome to Grenada Caracom, Romancing Grenada Caracom, Pitimatic, Mr. Modest, and thank you for accepting my invitation. Thank you also. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Mr. Milton Coy said he know you in sports, so I'm going to leave that for last, but um, I don't know much about Mr. Adrian Morrison, so maybe Mr. Adrian Morrison will tell me about you and him. Yeah, just um, just a little correction there. I'm using my son's computer, so <laughs> he is Adrian Morrison, um, Denzel Duxy Morrison. Oh, Duxy! Trevor and myself, we go a long, long way back. First time I actually met him, I was in high school, and. He came to Montserrat for police week, track and field. And I was seeing that I was the top athlete on the island back then. I was invited to come and um, run with these superstars in an invitation 400 meters. Oh, wow. Amazing. Then well, if, if I must <laughs> say, let me just take it a little further. Oh, then a few, I think it was about two years later, we actually showed up in Barbados for um, police training. So, <laughs> so it was from high school, and then we both um, training Barbados together. All right, then. All right. So, it, earlier in high school, though, I can, Mr. Kumar Livingston, now Livingston Nelson, uh, where most people would know him as. Um, started when you entered St. Andrews and Kent Secondary School, you met Trevor Modest there. Mr. Mr. Nelson? Yeah, I'm trying to. My, my computer seems to be unstable. I'm oh. trying to, to, to regulate it. All right. Yeah, so go right ahead. I'm, 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 I'm there. So I want you to tell us about your first interaction with Mr. Modest. How, how, what, how, what did you see? How did it go about? Yeah. You enter SAS and this superstar is already there. <laughs> um, I was <laughs> I, I was just trying to get settled here. Are you hearing me now? Yes, we are. We are. Right. Um, well, I of course I went to SAS. The revolt in nineteen um, what the year seventy eight September. Um, of course, seventy nine was the revolution. We had no intercall, and I think my first really getting to know Trevor because when I came in SAS, I was um, actually um, an athlete. Um, and I think maybe by my, my second year, Trevor, who, who seemed, he was a C, one of the senior athletes, took me to Progress Park, maybe saw my talent, and showed me how to do one, the, the discus. And then I later on went on to break the discus record. Trevor Modest was the was the um, he was the one that also showed me how to do the long jump. I think there was this technique we call the hang, and um, I, I think almost from day one I could have beat Trevor in the long jump. <laughs> 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 Trevor, Trevor, and and you know when you look at other athletes, you recognize that Trevor was this guy that was forever giving, always felt that, well, I know I can do this, and whatsoever he knew, he decided to pass it on. You know, he passed it on. So he was always on our case to do more. He was always willing to, to show, 
And uh-huh. anybody that had an, an, an A, anyone, any person that had a, a listening A at all um, and, and was willing to learn, Trevor was always willing to, to show. Um, and he showed a lot of leadership, um, a lot of leadership. Um, he, I think he, he also showed that he believed a lot in teamwork. So that showing and that willingness and that drive, wanting to not to just uplift himself, but everybody else around him, and by extension, SAS, um, I think is what helped us and what we, um, the following athletes, we were able to pick up and, and continue in that training, trying to show, well, okay, well, um, just like how Trevor showed me what to do in terms of the long jump, how to do in the, um, in, in, in the discus, he showed me the javelin, but, uh, he, you know, I was never that, I never learned their technique that well. So, you know, so Trevor had them pass on the skill, but the spirit of sportsmanship and, and, and teamwork. And I think that is what really, that is my, 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 my recollection of Trevor, um, Trevor Modest. Um, I think later on, I hopefully I will get a chance again to say something else about Trevor, because, I, you know, I know that's just the introductory, mm-hmm. but um, I would want to talk about Trevor and what I would consider um, an unfortunate, somewhat unfortunate situation. So that 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 probably occur later on. So I would want to talk about that. Later. Absolutely, we'll come back. So thank you very much for that, um, Mr. Eugene Lequish. My surprise has revealed himself uh, as we were talking yeah, about. I've men. Seen, yeah, men. I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, I good afternoon. Hi, Trevor. After that. After that. But Trevor, I decided to bring on Morrison this afternoon, you know? I said, I don't want to go way back. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. That's, the Duke that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's everything. Well, cool for the time, man. All right. Fine, uh, fine, 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 my friend. Let me say how this was supposed to be. I asked Livingston to help me host this. And Le- Eugene and Morrison were supposed to come on as um, <laughs> a surprise guest. <laughs> Because Livingston didn't know who else was going to be on. And I okay. asked Mil- I'm talking to Milton. Milton said, I go way, way, way back with Trevor, man. So I said, all right, from the <laughs> journalistic point of view. But then, kaboom, everybody show up at the same time. So my, my surprise, I hope you're happy though, Mr. Modest. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm glad to see that. <laughs> uh, and I'm glad to see Koi. I'm glad to see Koi strong and healthy, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, because he migrated to Karaku. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mr. So Eugene, uh, you went into SAS later on. So you were you there where Trevor was there? No, when I went into SAS, Trevor, uh, that was the last year for Trevor. Trevor and him had left already. I went in when Trevor and him had left. Okay. So but no, I <laughs> You mi- you're mistaken, Likush. I was still there when you were there, man. I was still there, right? I was the last yeah, man. for you guys. Oh, yeah, the last Yeah, you're a junior, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, Lik- you, Likush, um, what is the fella name again? Uh, I think it's um, Barry Toe, the long jumper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. That's you all were there, man. The, the, you all them um, dominated the, 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 the four by 100 meters. Yeah. Junior event and all your records uh, were even much more outstanding than the national junior, the national senior record. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, the senior Come record. On. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So and remember, remember it was I pushing, um, fighting to get you out from Lawanga. Yo, yeah, Trevor. Tricks and I. Trevor, you, <laughs> you waste the time up in Lawanga. You gotta come over to. Right, <laughs> Tricks oh. and I. Trix and I were fighting to get you out there because we we needed you to, to come. So, yeah. you, so you did a little bit of poaching. Of course, we had to do that, man. You see, the, the, the situation is if you see outstanding talent and you have to make sure that you harness it and, and, and develop it. And that was one of the things that we were doing also. I, I absolutely agree with that. And everybody I spoke to that went to school in SAS and even after SAS would talk about you in that way, in that you had an eye for talent. You were sort of an, an, 
on official scout. And in turn, you, you taught people how to do various things. Um, so speaking to Yubutu Devon, I don't know if you saw that. And uh, he yeah. talked about you giving him a book and you know, you're showing him the techniques, you're teaching him this new techniques, the, the technique, the glide, the glide yeah. all, all that stuff. But yeah. as you know, time restraints um, have, we, we can't all be here, but I, I hear the sentiments of who you were and your role in SAS. And then in talking to you, when I finally reach, uh, were able to reach you, you told me about how you, how instrumental you were. And I know maybe you don't want to talk about how much you put into helping develop SAS, but I'd like you to, to tell us a bit about, so you got into SAS, were there an athletic program before you? Did you, what happened? How, how did SAS become SAS in, in terms of sports? <laughs> well, I, I went into SAS in 75 and it was, um, what, what's his name? Um, Bai, Mr. Julian was the games master in SAS at that time. Um, Bai and I were not going down too well from since Bai left Methodist. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> so I, did never, I didn't want to go to to participate in track and field because I was a cricketer at the time. I used to be pace bowling. Mm -hmm. And then my cousin was born at Hastic. He used to pace bowl too, but then he started throwing javelin. And he went to Intercol the first year and he came back with a medal, a bronze. And I said, man, I can do better than you, man. So we went out on the grounds to throw the javelin and by he came, I didn't want to throw when by came, but he said, you say you can beat him? I said, yes, I can beat him. I can beat anybody in this school. And by said, man, that, that foolishness, you never throw the thing yet. I said, just show me and I'll be throwing it further than anybody. And he gave me a demonstration and I threw 165 feet. And that was more than anybody ever threw it. <laughs> it's us at one, one time. And he said, no, 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 no. You have to throw it again. And I went and I threw it, I threw it again. And it was 175 this trip. Wow. And he just left, but he just left one time and went to inside the school and spoke to his father. So Mr. Julian came outside at the, in the veranda and sat down and he was looking at me throwing. But I never went to intercall. No, I never did hits. And I was sent home. Just because of hits was, I think, was the next week. I didn't do hits. I went to Queen's Park, no, to Progress Park to do trials for the um, under 20 cricket. And I was sent home to get my parents, and I just had to throw javelin from then. And that's that's what get me into javelin throwing until one day my principal came. That was senior Cresswell Julian, who we call Cressy, belovedly called Cressy. He called me to his office and he said, nobody can coach you anymore. I can't coach you. Nobody can coach you. I can only show you how to throw on the, on the board, on the blackboard. So you will draw some men and, and javelin throwing, some line men and javelin throwing. He even did that with the long jump with parrot and triple yeah. jump. And then that was it from then. And one of the things Cressy taught me, that's why my whole aspect and mannerism and perhaps finesse in regards to dealing with people changed. In the sense that Cressy called us one morning and he said, you all will represent Grenada. And he pulled out his draw, pulled some plates and napkins and towels and cutleries and put it down and showed us how to use those things. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> to know social skills <laughs> and, and from then onwards things change living standards now I think their, when we were in telescope their class did not do homework or some kind of thing they didn't do their homework and they were asked to run up and down the hill <laughs> and I saw this young fella I said excuse me what's your age I'm 12 years sir I said, you 12 years? I said, man, you're big as me and you're 12 years. <laughs> I said, you, you, do you participate in sports? 
told me yes. I said, what club you in? What the um, house you in? He didn't know. I said, well, tell him you going to Lane House. Oh, you just started the Lane House thing because people have been all along. <laughs> yes, man. And <laughs> from that, well, he surprised me. And when I tell you, surprised me. Really surprised me. And then um, we were talking one evening and uh, tricks. Um, I, you know, a few of us, I said, if we have Livingston, not Livingston, but if we have Eugene Boy, we're killing them. I said, hey, mean if we have Eugene, my Eugene in, in um, convent and he want to come. So we went, we spoke to Eugene, we spoke to Eugene's mother, we, be we beg. <laughs> and then we only know that Eugene ended up in SAS. <laughs> but we did the drum work. And we had the the, that, there's, that, this fellow from um, St. Davis, I can't remember his name now, but he used to be working in agriculture. I think he still works in agriculture. And Barry too, Eugene. Man, we had one of the best junior team. Was that junior team with Eugene, Livingston, Barry too, and that young fella. That was our best junior team. Oh, wow. don't forget um, waiting him to check in the um, Red Rooster. and We had the I think that same guy, Trevor, was also a police. Was also a police, you know. He was mm. a little bit wild. That other third guy from Saint David. He was a police at the time too, you know. What's his name? Oh, Livingston. With Livingston, with or, with or Paul, no? Yes. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. I'm seeing him right, right now. Yeah. Livingston. <laughs> Barry. The I know is from um is from Birch Grove. Yeah, Carl yeah. Barry too. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I like, yeah, he was, when I came in, he was the leading long jumper at the time. Yeah. Yeah. He long jump, his long jump record was, was, um, further than the senior long jump record that year in Inter Hall. Yeah. As a junior. As a junior, and yeah. And he said that you or Eugene that came back and bro broke that record or something like that? I, I, I broke the record. Okay. I think, yeah, I broke the record. Um, when I, my last year in junior, also, I my timing at Intercall, I think um, I won the junior, I think at Byron Sylvester, I won the, the senior. Oh, right. When Byron won the senior, your, the junior um, timing, timing was the same. Yeah. That's how outstanding our junior team was. And, and all, all thanks to you. like one of Not that just me, but... No, but I mean, but, you sort of got them together there. Well, I think there was, a, I've been giving Trevor a lot of credit, yes, but also I think that there was this toss from the whole of the, the school and St. Andrew. No, the, char the character games. We went character games the year before. And when we came back, we explained to the principal, to Cressy and Mr. Noel, what character games was about. In regards to the, the academics of students who were training, <laughs> They train year round, and the studies you had additional tutoring in, in schools. So the whole concept in sports had changed, and we recognize when I say we, they're talking about the parish of Saint Andrews. There was a, this vibes that we have to do it. Saint Andrews had to do it, and that's in 1980. Also, that's when um, the spectator. Surge started. That's when spectators started hiring buses to come to Interpol. That's when it started. Because well, of us. Well, talking about was a general, I think in SARS there was a general mobilization. And Trevor, if you remember, um, the people like um, George, we used to call Pollard and Timothy Daniel. Yeah. When they, yeah. And then we, we, we did develop what we call a kind of chair leading. So the whole school, the principal would call assembly and the People, the teachers would talk. I don't know if it's Glenn or just yeah, man. Teachers, it's a they would talk to the students and say, "This year we're going on and we're supporting the athlete." So that surge Trevor talk about is like you know for that one time. Well, I was not in school a long time before, but I know like it became a big thing that we had a chance to win. We can win. We should win, and we you know so the school were mobilized was mobilized to to go and and, and take care of that. And Cressy had made a, a comment. Could you remember that comment? Um, no. If you have to win, 
You oh, can't just oh, win. Win close. You have to win big. <laughs> Very fast. Yeah, so like like I'm I'm Trevor, you know why that statement was made, Trevor? Trevor, you know why that statement was made? Yeah, because they were cheated. Yes. So there was no doubt in, 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 in the mind that when you win, you, it has to be clear because a close win could actually be a, 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 a loss. Right. So, so that caused us to start training in, in August. August we started training. Before school. Before school August. started. Yes, the whole school was training. Um, yeah. Watch. Because school it's, starts in September. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we tra started training in August. <laughs> well, I mean, we've talked so much about SAS and the electricity and what happened in Intercol and stuff. And I want to bring Milton in here a bit because Milton had a bad experience with the SAS roadiness. <laughs> <laughs> Militancy. Right. Milton, what yes. happened when, uh, and before you speak, let me just say, um, towards the evening, you remember all the schools from the country used to move towards SAS section. So I don't know if it's necessarily SAS, but we will blame SAS. So Milton, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> well, of course, um, um, I have had the experience because I, I was uh, uh, working with the media, but at that particular time, I don't think I was working with the voice. Um, and my interest in sports was there because at that one time, when I started to work with the voice, I did a sports column, sports with the voice. Um, so I was familiar with several of those things that have in sports. Um, but this, this particular intercall, and I, I um, um, this particular intercall, you know, um, you're on the field, you know, with a camera, looking for the best shot, looking for the best anything that can, you know, excite you. Um, and that was the last day of intercall. And so everybody was kind of jumping up and uh, so I walking across the, on the ground, right in front of the stand. Was close to the where the uh, where the football house is now on that side, close to the laundry. Uh, yeah, on, on that other side. I'm going stand. there and taking where, where stand? I'm taking shots and so on and so forth. All of a sudden, I see something start coming my my way, and those students <laughs> start to shout, "Oh, move from there! You you know you you tongue, you tongue, you tongue! Yeah, I want to see you." Man, I was so shocked in the first place because I didn't expect that. I mean, I thought everybody would have like to see me take the photo, <laughs> but no. And then, um, so I stood my ground and most things, more things started to fall, all kinds of things. Um, of course, in those days, they, 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 they used to have all kinds of um, But they wouldn't have been bottled though, maybe paper plate. No, 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 it wasn't bottled, wasn't bottled. But of okay. course, you know, throwing things at you. plastic bottles, it was not, 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 not the bottle yeah. bottles. Yeah. Yeah, 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 glass bottles. But, yeah, and, um, and so, and when I re realized that this, this, this guy was serious, let me leave the area because I ain't taking chance. And I mean, and you know, they were hostile. Um, I think that year, um, SAS came, SAS didn't, didn't win. So they, me being there, and they're thinking I'm from Tom, which I'm not, um, aggravated them. And me taking photos further aggravated them. And then they started to say all kinds of things. And then I, 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 I left. I left, I, I left the city. Mm. Um, in fact, I, I even, I think I did, I, I did a story on that when I went back and I told Mr. Pierre, well, listen, I mean, I get stolen. I, I, them guys, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, you get um, stoned. <laughs> not just stoned, I mean, stoned. Really. Well, that's how we say it. <laughs> yeah, you get stoned, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I did a story. If I could go back, I, I mean, I, I wish I could one day go back in the archives and see it because journalist or reporter stoned at Intercom. Um, so I, I, I read the story, of yeah, course. But he didn't say by whom, I hope not. Huh? Yes. <laughs> he did say that. Yes. The, story, the story did it. Yeah. The story said that. He said that. I, I can't remember what, what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the story yeah. too. Yeah. You know, so, so um, that, was my, that was, of course, a bitter experience with sort of intercourse, but of course, I have had many and several other 
pleasure and thank you. All right. In the spirit of intercall and for all of us from St. Andrews, I'd like to apologize, but I think for now you would understand what uh, competition meant. Mr. Modest has <laughs> worked so hard. He's got the team together. All the boys are practicing since August and you're blocking a view. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, um, 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 Sinian, yes. I remember when that story came out, um, what it did, it, I mean, first, uh, Mil um, uh, Milton, it was just the um, the enthusiasm of the children, and then and actually when you win, you have to yeah. sometimes um, make enemies out of out of the other side. So persons from Tongue they used to cheat us so much, we made enemies out of them. But when that story came out, it further consolidated the passion and energy of SARS because again, you see, what we saw was the biasness of you and and the media because GBSS used to do so much around things and there was no story but so when that story came out I tell you we hated you with a passion <laughs> <laughs> well um, because, okay you know, I, I, all I of a sudden again you pointed on SARS because GBSS um, and, and the school in town used to do so many there were mm -hmm. so many infringement so I mean anyway you're forgiven now so we could move on <laughs> yes. and, and, yeah, okay, I, I understand. Um, but just to say that the, the, the angle of the story was, uh, I even showed on, on where, where things were on, on the ground, you know, as those uh, missiles, I call them. Um, yeah. and so, but it was, you know, for whatever it was, it was a story that I, I talked, I, I reported that I, as I was there, I had to undergo all this kind of stuff. <laughs> but you me, understand now the passion. So I understand, I understand. Yes. Yes, because I, I listened to the interview did with Livingston, and um, and um, I I I I saw say wow, these guys were had some passion there, um, yeah. and I, I continue to hear hear you speak about the SARS days and all this and so on. I re realized that uh, indeed there was a, a passion that. But Milton, if you Milton, if you listen to what Trevor just said, we came from an era where we felt we were always wrong by yeah. those in authority. So it, it created this polarization. You know, it's like, you know, the guy from GBS says, oh, they were like our enemies. Is later on, after a couple of years, we were able to move on and shake hands. And Trevor and Eugene, they would tell you how, you know, after a while, you know, we, we are all athletes and let a better athlete win. It doesn't matter which school you come from, but it took a while for us to reach that level. So, but at first there was this passion and the passion actually exhibits itself as, a, as almost hatred for the next school. And it, it went both ways, eh? But later well, on, well, as, you, living, huh? I, well, as Livingston would, would, would emphasize, it was, if you didn't have that passion and that drive to go down there in the morning, like you will wake up in the morning and everybody would think, you know, why is Eugene angry? I'm not angry. It's just that, you know, today I'm going to take out some people. We're going yeah. down there to win. <laughs> Yeah. You remember uh, Mira comment and asked why Cressy made said certain things. You know, it was the advent when the in sports and in track and field, the measurements were being changed yes. with the meters and um oh. imperial measurements and whatnot. And metric, yeah, metric. Right. Mm -hmm. So there was a year that I showed, I think it was 66. Now, 60.3 meters. Now, 60.03 meters I showed. Mm -hmm. I was not at feet that time, so I showed 60.03. It was the early season. And the qualification was 60.30. And I showed 60.03. Oh, <laughs> and they place 60.3. And I went to Christian and said, Sir, I didn't qualify. He said, Don't worry about that. They are cheating. And I knew that they were cheating. <laughs> and then I think it was my sister jumped, it was 5 535 meters. Now, 535 meters was the qualification, and she jumped 553. She did not qualify. You mean the. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
that's so that that came about. If you have to win, you have to win a big. And we were not given the chance to go to character games as the other athletes. Because if they beat us and we were close, we were not going to get the opportunity to go. When we win, we had to win real big to go. Yeah. So you had to strike. Even with, with so you your first um attending the first char- the first character game you went to, was it because of SARS or did you qualify some other way? No, I, I, I was in, I, we, we had a, um, a competition. I told 185 um, feet at that time. That, that was in 79, 185 feet. The qualification was 165 feet, and I showed 100, 150 feet, and I showed 185. The next person was Ken Whiteman. I think he showed 165, but he didn't go, and I went. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. And then you came back to school. Yeah. What was that experience like going? Because where was the games held? The games were held in, in Jamaica. In Jamaica. Yeah. Huge Jamaica. What was that like for you? What? Um, it, it was it was the first time um, representing Grenada. The first time going overseas. Um, the first everything was first for me. Mm-hmm. First time. No, that wasn't the first time in a plane. I'm curious. I'm curious, Trevor. When you met um, your 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 friend out of the Monica, Morrison, yeah. What what um what was your undertaking? Was it school year or, or, or no? Was it it was my my first year as a police officer. Oh. First, first year competing as a police officer. I met him. And because of his, his performance, I spoke to him. I encouraged him to, to join the force. He was a musician, you know, actually. <laughs> he was a musician, a very, very good musician as a young boy. Yeah. And I couldn't believe that he could play these, instru- blow these instruments like that. And he was a school child. Well, hold on. You met him? He's Grenadian? No, no. he's uh, from Montserrat. Um. Well, how you know so much? <laughs> My, um... My uncle in law, not my uncle in law, yeah, right, <laughs> was the commissioner of police in um Montserrat, oh, wow. right. And he and um, Marston was a young fella in school, and we used to, my, my, my um uncle and I used to be talking all the time, and he would explain things to me and, and all that. And one of my coaches, a coach from England who came down to Grenada to coach me, had retired and settled in Montserrat. And he spoke to me about Marston also. So I knew a lot about him and I, I tried encouraging Marston to, to do those things. That's amazing because you weren't employed in sports or sports administration. You were a policeman. It's not, it's not that, you know. <laughs> Watch, let me tell you something. If you see talent, you can't let it Waste. You can't let it wait. When you, it's not good to let a young person that would have all this talent to go astray. Wow. Even in, even in police training school, when we were in videos, I used to be, you know, they, they used to, because I, I never used to be studying. <laughs> it would, they would because I knew some things about policing and whatnot, and it would come and I didn't have to study and say, okay, look, this, that, and I used to be encouraging him and teaching him and, and, and encouraging him to do things. And he did it. And one of the things that I, I remember telling him is that my journey in the police force would be for at least five years. <laughs> And I would move on to a university. He and he he made the made up his mind that he won't stay all the rest of his life too, and that's what he did. He, he moved on. I never move on because I got the opportunity to do a forensic course, even though I, I did the basics already. But I was not getting the scholarship to actually go to finish off. It was an FBI official who saw me and he said, you have the gift to do it. 
And then they, I think it was in um, going back to Barbados again, they, they work on something so that I would return to Barbados to, to do a course. And I was given the opportunity to teach one class. <laughs> and that do it. I never wanted to leave and go anywhere again because I never even wanted to go. I got the opportunity. When I say I got the opportunity, the opening was there, but I had to get the money to go to Scotland and do a forensic course. I couldn't get that money. So I was not worrying. So what I did now, because because of Dr. King and Dr. Pretty, I think she's now at the Barbados and St. Lucia, they supported me to go to Jackson Memorial Hospital and also to Metro Deed. And that's when I that's how I developed myself. Every year I would take a loan, and the loan would be just because of the sport, just because of throwing javelin. You remember Courtney? Courtney, who, came out, who came out from retirement just to compete with me so that yeah, I would throw yeah, water? Yeah. <laughs> All right. A he police spoke, no, no, he was in agriculture. He, oh, Lady Courtney, then right. Yeah. He spoke yeah. to his father. Dennis Courtney. I can't remember his, his first name, but he spoke to his father. The father spoke to me. Did you remember the father was a, a magistrate? Yes, St. Louis magistrate. Right. And then that's how I started getting my the security to go to study. Mr. St. Louis would stand the security for me every wow. year. Wow. Oh, amazing. So Trevor, you 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 took the loan, your personal loan. Yeah, I took the, the personal loan. And Mr. C Mr. St. Louis. Was the man standing in security? Every year I go, he stands security. Wow. And he assisted me in one of my notable cases, man. Uh, where a woman drank Gramazone and killed herself. But people were saying that her husband killed her. And I was saying, no, the husband, because, you know, certain signs I saw. And he told me to, to document it. Take photographs, do every, do the experiment and whatnot. I said, I don't have no grammar zone. He said, just tell me where you're living. And he and his wife left Ladig and come down to Fontenoy. And they sat, they sat down in the car. And I was on the lawn in the grass. And on the step. And I do my experiment. I take the fan from inside. <laughs> I do all my experiments. And I say, he say, he say, yes, man. My money's well spent. I'm satisfied. <laughs> Man. Before before we go to the police, because you, you sent me some pictures, um, and I have to ask you, which part of St. Andrews are you from? I'm from Paradise. Um, you're from Paradise. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> because I was born, born in Paradise. Paradise. Born I was in born Paradise. in Paradise. Right. Okay. My, Let me my two grandmothers, question. my two grandmothers are from Ladding and Union and all these places up there. I can't remember exactly. But uh, all the people up there are my family. Even Dev Devon and all and them two is my family. Yeah. Well, all you know, all of we are one family. We have to Yeah, continue. and then my father's now. They are from, what do you call the place up there again? St. John's Gut. Yeah, and all yeah. Tivoli. I have family in Tivoli. I have family. And then I have that grandfather that was wild. He used to work on that. Um, he had a mule, and he used to work on one of them estates that in Gotha somewhere up there. And he used to go around the country when he had his spare time. So I have family in St. David's in Mount Parnassus. He used to be populating, populating. Yeah. <laughs> some, some people his plant seeds. Ma his name was Matthias, Matthias Philip. All right. All right. Sinian, uh. I, I would like to um, maybe go back to Marcel. Just to let he, he just to get his input, uh, maybe that first time, if there was any, you know, what was his impression? If Trevor left an impression, um, because we had Trevor in Grenada, and you know, he was just like a regular person to us. But right. um, what well, what was his him, him, his impression on yeah. Trevor that early early days before the police force? Yes. Well, when when I met him first, I I knew he was a superstar right off the bat. Oh. when I saw him um, throwing that um, javelin. 
plus there was this superintendent of police. He used to come to the high school to um, start the races. And it so happened that um, <laughs> he took interest in me because from, I don't know how it happened, but um, I'm actually the only monstration to go through high school and won a gold medal in every single track event from the 100 meter to the four mile cross country. <laughs> every single track event setting records in the four, the eight, the 1500 meters and the four mile cross country. What's so right. these, you didn't do that in a high jump too? Yes. <laughs> right, I know well, you had to actually, tell you <laughs> I moved into high jump after Bill Sykes came to um to train us in Montserrat. And I moved on to the high jump and broke the high jump record also. But at the same time, I was not really into track and field. Well, I was not really, <laughs> I was actually a number four batsman in the high school. So I was a cricketer because I come from a cricketing background and I just happened to compete in track and field and got gold medal in every single event. And some of the events, it was like three events the same day. But <laughs> I was more interested in my music because I was playing the trombone and at that time while I was in high school I was playing for Arrow and there was like <laughs> nothing oh, Arrow. bigger and than Arrow was hot Arrow was <laughs> hot Arrow. yes I mean I've toured all over the world with him I mean it was just incredible so I was really into my music track and field was like no just a side thing because you know when they're having track meets in Montserrat, they used to say, oh, go get Duxie. And they used to be betting on me, <laughs> throwing me in all kinds of invitational races and betting on me. So, I mean, after I met Modest, Trevor, and um, Hazel from St. I mean, those are the two guys who I <laughs> was real close to, you know. And then a couple of years later, meeting him in Barbados, where we um, we trained together. So we became very close because, you know, we would be traveling for police week, track and field in the different islands. But um, for the big track meets, I was really not available to compete for Montserrat because I would be gone touring with Arrow or... I used to play for Arrow, King Absinet, and, and those guys. So I, I was just more into my trombone. So Eugene is the one that introduced you to us. Um, Trevor would not have talked about, because Trevor wasn't much of a talk about himself. Um, I found that many things from many different people, many of the SAS students. I want to show a little bit and I appreciate what you do and I'll come right back to you and your relationship with Eugene and then with Trevor um, just to show because Trevor is the only person that have a SAS picture in color <laughs> and Livingston I'm not sure I think you're one of the teams I'm not sure yeah, um, Livingston is there okay can I maybe grab my photo <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple well enough that's you, my photos man Huh? That's my photos. I don't get Peter to come and take the photos, man. <laughs> Am I sharing the screen? Are you seeing the screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, we are. So, Livingston, you're not in this no, one. I don't I'm see not, the, I'm not I don't, I don't see the, the, the naughty hair. You had the dreadlock kind of hair. Like, you, you didn't have a wrong did afro. That, that was the record breakers. That was the record breakers. So is this Devon George? No, this is no, they, they, they Barito. 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 Oh, yeah. okay. And Trevor, this is you? No, that's no, Walter Simmons. Oh! 
The big afro, the big afro. Oh, Trevor, you are huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was me. Thinking skinny. <laughs> so you have Bobby Lee, you have Bonnie, you have Godfrey. Okay, so this is Godfrey. Yeah. yeah like Bonnie. And Barbie Lee. Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah. What's and Bonnie's Barbie name? Lee. Um, not so cannot remember his name, but can't remember his name now. So yeah, that Bonnie. And the next person, Barito, and um between Simmons and Barito is, is Henry Joseph called Barbie Lee. Barbie Lee. Right. Um, so now I have another picture. I'm gonna just share it one time. While we're here, and then we'll come back. Sorry, wrong picture. We'll come back to Mr. Morrison. So this picture, Livingston, maybe you're here. Um, I, am, I am to the extreme facing me. I'm, I'm to the extreme right. Yes, that's me. Right, that's Livingston. They just managed to capture you. I don't know just... what's wrong with them, man. <laughs> <laughs> this this gap here, that's. <laughs> So yeah. Peter took this picture. Yes. And there is Mr. Kersey looking young as ever. Yeah, and that's tricks behind him. Oh, tall tricks, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and big Trevor. My goodness. And Trevor, I see this person here looks like a Marshall girl from Ladin. Yeah, yeah, that's so. Cheryl Marshall. Yeah. Right. And then there is Pamela George, who is Devon George's sister. Right. Pamela, yeah, that Pamela George. That is a, um, you can see, yeah, Pamela George. <laughs> next to her is this girl from Homage. She's a Thomas girl. This, the, to no, her no, right? the next week, the next week. Okay, right. okay. Yeah, and the other one is Lashington. And like yeah, Lashington. Lashington. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that <laughs> one, but the next one is La Foucade. La Lorraine La Foucade, La yeah. La Foucade. Impressive. Yeah. I, and Trevor, I mean, I've been boasting about these pictures. I said everybody have to tune in because I see black and white pictures all the time, but this is fresh <laughs> and alive. And one well, is um, share it, um, Shares. There's a Shares? Um, Shares was, yeah, Shares and that one in, in um, what do you call it, please, again? This one is Subis. Subis. Oh, Subis. You do not name again? Surely. All right, but we don't know who's and then on that one is a Pascal girl. That one is Miriam from um, Homitish. The one before right. that is some Pascal out of um telescope. telescope. Right. Who's this lady? Smith. Yes. Smith. Right. Our, bro our brother used to play cricket for green at one time too. Right. Devon Smith? No, no, no. No, oh. no. All right. I'm going on. And there's the sass always sailing in the back. <laughs> yes. And this one here, no, he, he's, he used to be working at the bank. What's his name again? From Maki. I can't remember this. I'm not Domba. 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 And after him is Renny. Renny ended up in, in fisheries. Fisheries. Fish, fisheries officer. The next one is Tiko. Tiki. Tiki, Roland Joseph. Right. Wow, you guys are you doing that. You have, you have, you have, you have, you have um, Barry too. After Cressy, Barry too. And then Glidan, Glidan, Christopher. That Glidan, that Cal, and the next one is Carl, Carl Vincent. Yeah. Orlando Simmons, Walter Simmons. Walter Simmons, yeah. All right. And Livingston yes. Nelson. I'm. I was trying to see how I could get the thing to pull Livingston out into the open. <laughs> <laughs> hiding, not hiding. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop sharing now. Um, thank you for the picture. I mean, I, I know it's going to bring back a lot of memories to lots of people because uh, color, I tell you, we didn't have the luxury of having color back then. <laughs> Livingston showed me some pictures and I would have loved to show his muscle and all that. It wasn't in color. You did I, have I, some color. I, 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 but... have, I have the colors in archive. See, oh. I do have to. <laughs> <laughs> you got to share, Livingston. Let's take a book from wanted, the top for the page. I wanted to go back on um, two things I wanted to do, if you would permit me. Yes. Um, Milton, you, 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 you there? No, doesn't seem so. Mm. Okay. So I, am, the, I am, I am, I am. I'm just... Uh, yeah. Right. Yes. So I wanted to... I think it would be good to get you, apart from the bad experience, what were, you know, what, what, what was your view looking at um, the intercolor time? You know, if you could just summarize 
see something about the intercal, the rival, the river, rivalry. Um, I mean, you as a reporter, you must have been, if you cover it, you had to be seeing something. Yeah, yeah. Seeing yeah I know, I know. Um, uh, Notwithstanding the fact I mentioned that because Sinjan asked me about that experience because we spoke about it. But that's not, that, that, that's not the most important experience I really had in intercom. Um, I've had some very uh, good experience. And for the record, um, although I was not, I didn't go to school in St. Andrew or, or, or SAS or whichever, although, although I did not live there, but I have had strong, very strong connections with St. Andrew. In fact, um, my, my wife came from, from Simon and I, I, I spent a lot of years in, in that area. So I had some very good experience. Coming back to Intercol, um, the, the, the guys at the time who saw me there did not know that I was supporting SAS. Yeah, because my team was SAS. I did not, I did not have no, good things to support. Yeah, no. Um, so, I, and um, I've always followed some of the, um, you know, some of the things that St. Andrews athletes have been, have them done. And um, I thought that Trevor, when I got to follow, and I did a lot, a lot of background checks, and even you, you was done, and tricks and all these guys, uh, I, I looked at you know, the record, the career, the statistics, and so on. And I thought they were outstanding. My impression of, of Trevor, for example, did not only remain in sports, but I'll just talk about sports, you know. Um, and I think... You will I talk even, about everything, you know, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know how everything would be. <laughs> I know. I know. Can, we, can, we, can, we, can we hold on a minute? There are certain things you might not be able to say. No. Be careful what you ask for. Eh? No, man. Yes, never I, say anything about me, man. Just, just, just. I, I know just, that. I know that. Hello, hello, hello. But, just a second. Yes, Let me just have a break. Don't go anywhere. And then oh. we'll come right back because we've met an hour and I don't want to tax people. People tell me they enjoy the show, but it's going on for too long, man. So let's just have a break <laughs> so I can break the show. So. <laughs> okay.